Maybe, maybe not. Three hundred seventy four and nine tenths plus one hundred thirty two and forty six hundredths. I still see people's heads down working, so I'm going to give you a few more minutes. Remember, you do not need to type it in the chat unless I can't see you for some reason, and it looks like I can see everyone. Not if you're facing this way, you can sit in your desk and face the board, or then you can have a mess break. All right, let's work it out. If you didn't get a finish it, no big deal. We'll finish it together. All right, when we got to estimate, this nine is bigger than five. So I'm going to round that up to 375 plus mm, four is lower than five, so 132. If we add those together, we get. 507. My estimation is 507. Now I'm going to actually add them. My estimation was 507. We got to add nothing to six, so it's still six. Nine plus four is 13. Carry seven, 10, five. My actual answer is 507 plus. Or 507 and 36 hundredths. 507 and 36 hundredths is my actual answer. Please show me your board. I'd like to see your correct answers, hopefully. Remember, this is your final practice. So if you have any questions, now is the time to ask. This is your final practice before your test. For the most part, I'm seeing right answers. That's good, guys. Evan, Julian, are you guys showing me your boards? Landon, where's your board? Okay, did you show me, Julian? Oh, I see yours, Julian. Evan, where's your board? Okay, so you're going to have to pay attention because on your tests, they're going to be mixed in. Okay, I want an estimation and the real problem. Well, not the actual answer. I didn't say the real problem, I mean.
Okay, well, I had it up there for plenty long enough. You need to actually get with it and do it quickly. Yeah, hold on. Remember, you're doing a subtraction problem, friends. Miss Kanifel? Yes. Are we estimating to the number, to the nearest number, or to the the decimal we're, est we're estimating the same way we always estimate you need to estimate to the whole number so you take away the decimal so you look at the first number after the decimal and that's how you know if you're going up or down All right, friends, let's check it out. We have 32 and 40, 437 thousandths, thousandths, you know, I'm so terrible saying that. We look at this four, obviously it's below five. So I'm gonna keep 32 the same, minus this eight is bigger than five. So I'm gonna round that up to 12. So my estimation is 20. I repeat, my estimation is 20. Now I'm gonna actually subtract Make sure you line it up. That's the most important part of adding subtraction decimals, lining it up. Got to borrow. I have 20 and 627,000. Mr. Landon, check your subtraction. You are incorrect, sir. Let me see your boards, friends. Let me see your boards. This one you had to borrow. It is important today during your test, you use a dry erase board and work out every single one of your problems, like for real. You need to be working it out. Even if it's multiple choice and you think you know it, work it out. Have to, have to, have to. This should be like, we should be getting correct answers. Like this should be our best test to date. All right. Okay, 318 minus 137 and 92 hundredths, okay? I want an estimation and an actual answer. Obviously, this is already a whole number, so you don't need to do anything to this, okay? This is already its whole number, but I need you to get this to a whole number, estimate an actual problem.
All right, let's test it out. Oh my gosh, I just threw my marker. Oh, get back in. All right, like I said, this is already a whole number. Don't need to fix it. This one, ooh, this nine's bigger than five, so I'm gonna make this 138. So I have 318 minus 138. Boop, boop, boop. Nine, 10, 11, 12, no. So seven, no, eight. The 180 is my estimation. 180 is my estimation. I repeat, 180 is my estimation. Now I'm going to do the actual problem. Oh my gosh, look at that. I got to do, you know, some subtraction. So I'm going to borrow from this guy. The eight's going to become a seven. This is going to become a nine. This is going to become a 10. 10 minus two is eight. Nine minus nine equals zero. Seven minus seven equals zero. One minus three, can't do that. I gotta borrow again. 11 minus three is eight. Two minus one is one. So your answer should be 108 and eight hundredths. One, oh, not, I lied. 180 and eight hundredths. 180 and eight hundredths. Let me see your boards. What? I don't know, Landon, look at my board and see. There's some of you, you guys aren't showing me your boards. Show me your boards, friends. If you didn't get it right, it's important you find out where your mistake was because your test is today. All right, so I see some people that did some subtraction wrong, okay? So make sure. If anything, you could always do the opposite, you know, add them together or do the reverse operation, but I'm definitely seeing some wrong subtraction. So let's make sure we're taking our time and subtracting right, okay? New problem. We're going to do another subtraction because for subtraction definitely seems to be harder for you guys. So we're going to do another subtraction. This is not dance time. We should just be focusing on math. Why do I, I feel like I always pick the same numbers. My marker's going bad. Okay, another subtraction problem. So like I said, you guys definitely sub struggle with subtraction more than addition. Evan, I want to be seeing your board, sir. I've yet to see your board this whole time, okay? Make sure you are really working out this problem. I want everyone to be getting this one right.
All right. Oof. I killed myself. Seven, 42, seven. Mm, Got to round up. So now I have seven, 43 minus mm, 43. We don't have to round up. We just stay where it is, which equals 700. Your estimation should be 700. Now let's do the actual problem. Got a ball from the seven, seven becomes a six, this becomes a 10. Nine, four, bring down my decimal. Mm, Got to borrow again. Nine, mm, got to borrow again. 13, or three becomes 13. That equals nine, six. 699 and 49 hundredths should be your answer. Okay. Evan, you're struggling with, you did not borrow one. You cannot do minus one from nothing. Also, you're not drawing a line. Every other person's drawing that line to keep it organized. I need you to do the same. Remember, you cannot subtract one from nothing. Okay. You have to borrow and make that a 10. It is not magic. The one just does not move down, okay? The one does not just magically move down. You have to borrow from that seven, okay? Okay, let's do an addition problem. Addition now. Miss Knifel, can you say the numbers? I can't because it's blurry for me. 572 and 98 hundredths plus 426 and 1 tenth. 572 and 89 hundredths plus 600 or plus 426 and one tenths. Marissa, that does not look like a good use of your time. Please do the right thing. All right. Try it out together, friends. This is an addition, so I hope you did addition. We got to get to the nearest whole number. Obviously, we're rounding up. We have 9 and 8, so that is 573 plus, oh, don't have to round up for that one, 426, which equals 
six, two, four. My marker's going out. Nine. Oh, look, it equals nine, nine, nine. 999 should be your estimation. 999. Now let's actually do the problem. Eight plus nothing is eight. Nine plus one is 10. Carry nine, nine, nine. 999 and eight hundredths should be your answer. Commercial, yeah. All right, guys, we are just about out of time, so let's have a quick pep talk. First off, we have been working really, really hard on addition and subtracting decimals. The number one thing you have to remember is to line up your decimal, okay? Line it up for every single problem. Every single one of you better have a dry erase board out, a marker, and an eraser during your test. I want you to work through every single problem. Even if you think you know it, I don't care. Work it out. Everyone should be able to get a good grade on this test. I totally believe in you guys. For the most part, almost all your answers are always right on here, but I want good scores. So I need you to line up your decimal. I need you to double check. Is this an addition problem? Is this a subtraction problem? Are they asking you to estimate? Are they asking you for the actual answer? Do not rush your test. It is definitely not a prize to get it done first, okay? There's no prize for getting it done first. And if for some reason you cannot finish it during class today, I'm sure that's okay. You can probably finish it tomorrow, okay? So don't rush and please do your personal best on your test today. Totally believe in you guys. Good luck. If you are in my home room, you'll be getting a reading link in about three or four minutes. I'm gonna take my class to a restroom break before everyone else. Good luck on your math test. I'll see you in reading. You can just keep those. Do not lose them. Keep them, okay? Bye, guys. All right, guys, as you finish your thing, I want you in.